I was like talking and I was like <sighs> and I passed out and I don't know what this means <laughs> everybody it is Saturday <laughs> and I am in my room just trying to um, wrap a gift because tonight is Debbie's birthday party we're gonna do hibachi we're going to get a babysitter Woo -woo. so I am going to wrap up her present and then maybe clean a little bit before the babysitter gets here because Nobody likes a dirty house whenever you go to babysit somebody's crazy children, right? I also forgot to tell you that I got something else i know a lot of you um know that i do go to bath and body works for my candles but i've kind of been like straying a little bit <laughs> i've been going down the yankee candle route lately and i've been going to um tj maxx and ross to get them so <sighs> sorry bath and body works if you don't have your candles on sale, I ain't buying it. Um, but I did get some today just for the bathroom because I still have one in my bedroom that's still like pretty good. Um, I'll probably have to have another one in a couple weeks. But I didn't see any that I really liked at DJ Max today. So I just got a couple for the bathroom. I got eucalyptus. I don't know if you can see it. but And then I got another one that's eucalyptus mint. And these are kind of the ones that I like at Bath & Body Works too. So they're just kind of like a clean smell. And I kind of like that spa like serene smell. So I thought those are the bathroom. And now I'm on to my next adventure. Which when I go out to eat, and mind you we're just going to Hibachi. We're not going any place like really fancy or anything. But I kind of get tired of like my old like mom clothes like my tank tops and my sports bra my hat you guys see me in this like 99.9% .9 of the time so let's go in my closet and take a look mind you I'm just gonna tell you guys right now this closet is a hot mess this closet is a quarter of the size of what we used to have at our old house so everything is just kind of like in here so let's take a look at what we can find so I have just, oh, if you guys don't know, I have like a just fab problem. There's some more over here. <laughs> I'm, I'm part of the program, but sometimes, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but I can skip months. So you can skip your month and then you don't get charged. But sometimes I forget and I get charged anyway. So then I'm like, I have a credit. I need some shoes. So, oh, I'll show you the ones that I just recently got <laughs> that I oopsie forgot the month but I got these and they're really cute like they have little straps that go around them and I've been wearing them out to just dinner because they're not really a wedge they're just kind of like a sandal so <sighs> let's see what I can find I have an idea of what I'm gonna wear tonight but I just don't know for sure this is like tucked back in. You guys, I got this shirt that I have not worn that I was going to wear for Valentine's Day and then my husband ended up having to work. So, I did not get to wear it for Valentine's Day. Um, instead, I ate at Chick-fil-A for Valentine's Day. But, ugh, I hate whenever I, my hangers get like caught with each other. Um, so this shirt I got at Walmart for like $10. <laughs> And I have never tried it on because I'm not, I don't like to try things on it. I like take my kids into like changing rooms. I don't like to do any of that kind of stuff. So I just like get my size and then I just move on with it. And if it's not the right size, I'll just give it to somebody who might like it or might fit or I just make it work somehow. So I got this little get up and it has the sleeves with it I'll show you guys my hand up over here I only have one hand when you vlog you only have one hand um 
and it just kind of like comes off the shoulder like this which is really cute and i thought it was just kind of fun so yeah it was like 13 dollars at walmart and never worn it so i figured i'll just wear that with some jeans and maybe too many shoes to count but i don't know which ones i'm gonna actually wear let me show you guys one that i the shoes that i actually love 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 but will never wear again unless i'm like 100 percent sitting down these little babies aren't they cute i got them at target for i want to say like five dollars and i wore them to the christmas party um and we literally walked so far and like the tip of my toe was so bruised like i couldn't even walk the next day so i don't know what shoes i'm gonna wear i also like these little things that i got at walmart for like seven dollars they're super cute too i got them for seven dollars but then they kind of hurt my toes too like you see that little those hurt my toes and i just I get really discouraged from wearing them so i usually go with good old faithful which mind you just fab um i go with good old faithful usually because she doesn't hurt my feet but i don't know tonight since we're just going to hibachi we're not really going to be walking around maybe i'll try some of the ones that hurt my feet really bad <laughs> okay so i cleaned up a little bit in the boys room and now i'm going to straight my hair because I washed it last night so let's get it started Now that I'm done with my hair finally, see how red my chest is? That's how red it gets when I blow dry my hair. So I am like 75% done with my hair, but I'm still gonna look on Pinterest to see if there's anything that like, any cute style. Cause I usually like to wear it back a little bit right here because it just gets annoying. It's hot and it's my face. I'm going to, ooh, I'm really bright in here right now. Sorry, you guys. I leave the windows open in my room. <coughs> Excuse me. So, it got me really bright. So, I'm going to go look on Pinterest and see if I can find anything. Oh, it's really dark. See if we can find anything that I can do with this mop. I don't know. I usually just do like half up, half down, but I don't know. See how long it is? I'm out of breath after walking up the stairs. Speaking of, I wanted to tell you guys, while I'm talking about being out of breath, catch my breath. <laughs> this is a symptom of pulmonary hypertension, um, the shortness of breath. And no, I didn't do anything crazy. I just walked up the stairs. Um, let me sit down for a second. Ooh. Um, so, off and on i get these like um my camera's blinking so i'm gonna have to rush this really quick and i'll have to charge it for tonight <sighs> so off and on for the past like two years i've had these nightmares that i just stopped breathing or that i like pass out so last night i had a dream that i was like talking and i was like <sighs> and i passed out and I don't know what this means. I don't know if like I'm not breathing when this happens or if I'm just it's my inner like thoughts being like you're scared that you're gonna stop breathing. I don't know, but off and on for the past like year and a half, I've had these really crazy dreams that like I just stopped breathing in my sleep. Um, I have been tested for sleep apnea and that was like three years ago and they said I didn't have it at that point, but I don't know. I really don't wanna have the test because I don't like sleeping away from my house. But I'm thinking maybe I should do it again because I don't think this is normal. Okay, so hair done. I just need to straighten a couple of pieces over here. But all in all, I think it's done. I just found something like this on Pinterest. like, And I, I have just chopstick on my lips because it's a little dry. So I'm going to put my clothes on. The shirt's back here. I still haven't tried it on, so I'm hoping that it fits. <laughs> all right, let me put it on. Okay, so 
the shirt fits you can see it's a little weird because sometimes when you like move your arms up and down move them up and down like this the straps go up i don't like that we're having some kid problems right now i don't know if it's just being tired or just being annoying i don't i'm not really if you can hear him he's he's very upset you hear that i'm debating like which one is going to make me feel more comfortable but then i remember i'm sitting down <sighs> let's see what i decide on okay the shoe has been chosen we're gonna go with these tonight okay the shoes are on the shirt is on the shoes are on now we or in the wait for the babysitter to come and she cannot come fast enough. <laughs> While I'm sitting here, I kind of want to talk to you guys too. Um, this weekend has just been like crazy and I'm glad that it's really been like busy because as most of you know, like Monday is ultrasound and I'm hopeful that we'll hear something like a heartbeat or anything. I'm, I really, really hope that we see like at least a yolk sack and a fetal pole and you know, all the good stuff, the makings of a baby. Um, this little strap keeps coming up. Um, so yeah, I just, I'm getting really nervous and I'm getting really anxious. Um, but if it all goes well with the sonogram on Monday, um, hopefully they'll be able to record it and I'll be able to share that with you guys um, If not, they're going to just Skype me and then maybe I can share that Skype with you guys We'll figure something out to where you guys can be there for the ultrasound and then if all goes well with that Then we'll probably do like a gender reveal on like Tuesday or Wednesday so don't forget, I'm just gonna tell you right now, the vlog isn't over yet, but don't forget to hit the subscribe button below because you wanna make sure that you see the video as soon as we know what we're having. Um, there's also a little bell beside of the subscribe button and if you click that, as soon as we upload a video, you will get that in your email or it will pop up on your YouTube or whatever and you'll be the first to know. So don't forget to do that right now and don't forget to subscribe below. Um, Let's go head out to Hibachi for Dee Dee's birthday. Dee Dee, it's your birthday. It's Susie's birthday. Pop Pop, Rodney, everybody. Rosa, <laughs> She has a deep throat here, Rodney. Oh my goodness, all right. It is 12.30. Oh my God, he's in here. It's 12.30, everybody's asleep. I just carried a baby, Mason, into his room. Katie was already in there and I'm going to bed. I'm really tired. Thanks for hanging out with us on Daddy's birthday. It's officially over now. We partied until it wasn't her birthday anymore. So. <sighs> 
been a long day. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe below to find out if there's a baby on Monday, if we hear a heartbeat, all of it. Also guys, please keep us in your prayers and your thoughts. Just hoping and praying that we finally see a baby with a heartbeat. And at the very least, like a yolk sac and a fetal pole. So please, please, please keep us in your thoughts and prayers. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye guys, have a good weekend.